So this poem is about gentrification and it's also about like what it means like what it means to me to feel like a tourist in your home so mm -hmm. to go back to a place that you once lived and they just feel so like disconnected from it and privilege to some extent to ask a place to say its name is to watch it fumble through its own history. The first time you visit Brooklyn in over a decade, you notice something has swallowed your old neighborhood. You figured it is the same thing that spit up a Starbucks where the old pizza shop used to be, or what replaced half the boys that look like you. You've read about this in books. Listen to friends from other places go on about their raised rent, You've heard Whole Foods described as equal parts haven and nuisance. How a dandelion is still a weed even if it looks pretty sprouting from the sidewalk. Cryptomnesia is the act of falsely generating an idea. It means to be an unwitting plagiarist. To manifest something learned long ago as your own original thought. The muse of your old city has a thief's hands seals whole streets and gives them back to the public and gift wrap. The muse of your old city is a robber baron who would evict God from heaven if it met a higher profit margin. The muse of your old city is a surgeon who swaps out still functioning organs but never bothers to tell its patients and you should feel lucky to have moved away before the skyline split open like an incision before the muse's green hand rummaged through your house looking to replace you with something more lucrative than your paycheck, a bit safer than your skin, and you should feel lucky to now live somewhere that isn't too anesthesia to say its own name, mm. to be able to claim this place as origin whenever it's convenient, but there's something uneasy about treating your past like a cadaver. Your mouth, now the scalpel slicing into a body that has never really stopped breathing as if replacing the insides for more suitable parts. And that's when you realize that you and the muse of your old city have something in common. You both know that theft is a kind of love even when it's dressed in avarice. So, you travel, so when you travel, you commit to stealing small things. Bottle caps at the beach discarded change, photos for your phone, anything that won't thrum in your hand that you won't mistake for still alive because being remembered shouldn't only be reserved for those with the biggest wallets. And when you get home, you look at your shoes, notice the Coney Island and Flatbush dirt still dusted across their soles, grime, a souvenir, and you know that there are ways to keep parts of places with us without leaving them in need of stitches.